What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody out there is doing well, staying positive and definitely staying productive. I want to talk to you guys about getting results, getting results when it comes to any goal, losing body fat, building some muscle, launching a business, creating something, trying to change something, get rid of bad habits. Why do people get different results? Now, obviously environment has something to do with it. When it comes to physical stuff, genetics, plays a role, but I'm going to tell you what plays the biggest factor in this because I've coached thousands of people for multiple goals. I help people with business. I help people with branding. I help people with skill set and mindset when it comes to high executive positions and entrepreneurs, how to be able to nail their emotional state and be able to take on a big workload. And I help people for general health. I have people that have predispositions, autoimmune diseases, people trying to manage their weight, lose weight, get in shape. So I have people over the last two decades under the umbrella of a vast amount of different goals. And I'm going to tell you my truth of what I believe is a huge factor when it comes to accomplishing goals and why some people get different results and why people get quicker results than others. And this is simple. It's very simple. If you have two people that want to accomplish a goal, something that they've never done before, all right? Let's just take two people that want to learn how to play the violin. Neither one of them has ever played an instrument in their life, all right? Neither one of them has any idea of musical notes or rhythm or anything that has to do with the whole uh, academic and science behind music history. All right. Or the engineering and the anecdotal action of executing music on an instrument. They want to learn to, to, to play the violin. They both get a tutor or uh, jump online on one of these courses or something like that. One of them, let's just say the goal is going to be like who can play the violin the best in 90 days. One of them that starts this program gets very, very, very far ahead than the other one. Why is that? At the end of it, they're pretty good at playing the violin. They know what they're doing and they've understood it. They can play a couple of songs in front of somebody. They can use different types of violins because they've had experience on that one and it's not very difficult for them to be able to apply the same uh, hand movements and strokes on a, on a different violin, depending on what type of the world that it's from. Why is that? It's because these two people have two different types of skill sets, all right? And if you've heard the saying before that skills pay the bills, skills pay the bills, skills pay the bills, it's very, very true. Even though neither one of them knew anything about music or how to play a violin, why one person will get that quicker? Why will somebody lose weight quicker? Why will somebody build a website quicker? Why will somebody get promoted at a job quicker and work their way to the top and the other person sitting in that same position four or five, six years with no raise. It's because of the skill sets. It's not because of the task at hand. It's everything that has to do outside of it. Same as it has to do with the gym, right? There's 168 hours a week. If somebody's training three or four hours a week, all right, or even five, five out of 168 is very, very small. That's 2% of their life out of that 168 hours a week. So that, that makes a minimal, like, change that's a minimal impact on their life that's two percent of their life three percent like if you saw somebody for two percent of your life it'd be very very difficult for you to be a business partner with them or have a successful relationship with them now what am i talking about here it's the skills that have to do with everything outside of that the person that succeeds quicker at that goal with the violin same as the person with the weight loss same as the person with the website same as the person with the promotion at work has built and executes many other skill sets very good. They're good at concentrating. They're good at um, keeping distractions away. They're good at hyper-focusing, all right, when something's been triggered in their life with their emotions or their personal life. They're very good at interpersonal communication. They've taken time to learn how to be able to understand other people and how to uh, communicate to themselves. So all the things outside of that task for them run a lot more fluid than the other person that doesn't have skill sets. Because whether they're trying to lose weight and, and get to the gym and eat better, or they're trying to learn to play the violin, or they're trying to get a promotion at work, the person that has the skill sets of practicing patience, 
delaying instant gratification, doing things that they promise themselves they're going to do. They have a task. They have a journal. You see one that's sitting there right behind me. It says, wake up this time. Do this by 9 a.m. Do that between 10 and 12. Do this before 4 p.m. Do this before 9 p.m. Make these calls between 9 to 10. Okay, Be in bed by this time. The person that has these skill sets is going to have a lot better environment when they go to the gym because they're going to be in there fresh. They've eaten their meals. Their mind's focused on the task at hand. They're not five things behind or five days behind. The other person, even though they're doing the same work, even though they're still watching the same generic course online on how to play the violin, or they're still showing up to the gym to do the same workout, okay? They're doing legs and back or whatever it is to lose weight, the 10 pounds like the other person. The other person's coming in there, half their shit missing, they've missed their meals, their sleep is off, they're emotionally triggered because they don't have the preparation done with their work, so they're backloaded there. They don't have the preparation done at home. They haven't taken the time to be able to try to get their children, if there's children involved in the picture, in a better state to get them to, to all try to work congruently in the household. They kind of just let them run rampant, which causes problems in the house. So when they come back from, from home, no one's doing the stuff that they have to do. They don't do their homework. They don't clean up their shit. They don't have dinner on time. They don't bathe on time. So when you have a vast amount of skill sets built, any goal is a lot easier for you to succeed. You're already 10 steps ahead of the person who has no fucking skill sets. So it's very important that you learn the skills that are the prominent ones that have to do with a goal, like preparation like uh, being on time, like tidiness, like keeping your emotions away from your logical thinking, delaying instant gratification, problem solving, interpersonal communication, understanding people, because then you can foresee when someone's going downhill or is about to, to flip out and you can communicate in better ways. You can articulate what you want to express in a better way for somebody, for them to understand it. And they're going to have a better reaction to you, whether it's your coach, whether it's a coworker, whether it's somebody that you live with, whether it's a child, whether it's your partner in life, whether it's your lover, whoever, and all these other things become more fluid. You can't just nail one skill to nail a goal. Okay. Getting fit is not being great in the gym. It's being great outside of the gym, your sleep, your hydration, your food, your socializing. Okay. You don't torture your body with junk food and liquor two, three, four nights a week, and then say, well, why am I not losing weight? I'm going to the gym and the other person has better results than me. So I want you guys to understand that you can control all of this. And what's great about it is that these skills are applied to everything. Everything you want to try to accomplish and all the fucking problems you're trying to avoid in life are to do with these skills. Like you can prevent a lot of the problems from coming, and you can also fix a lot of the obstacles that are already in play. So that there's nothing better than that. You can actually suck. You can actually suck at trying to learn that violin. Or you hate the gym. But because you've got all these other skill sets, you'll beat that other person's ass in that goal. And you will win at that, that goal. You, you will succeed faster and longer and keep the results for life. Because you've got the skill sets. You carry the traits of somebody that is able to execute this on a regular basis. And the other person, they don't. Like, that's the difference between people. It's like, you just needed to learn, like, okay, I need to put this, this, this in my schedule and I'll get to that. Awesome. Just like everything else. The other person doesn't know what the schedule is, has excuses for their schedule, wraps up in their story of why they can't do stuff. They've got a list of excuses ready. So... This makes a massive difference. Skills pay the bills. Skills will get you to be able to succeed. Skills can be transferred to anything else. People that are skillful are not called like a teacher or a driver or a, um, you know, whatever, like a, a, a singular job title. These people have massive uh, choices of where to be employed because of their skill sets, like a consultant. All right. That's what I do. I consult people. I have a vast array of knowledge anecdotally and academically on how to be able to help people solve problems, on how to be able 
to get people to be their best version on the hardest days because I've been through that in life a million times over in the worst case scenarios and I always stuck to the plan. It doesn't make me special. It doesn't make me, um, I don't hold a fucking secret. It's just the same blueprints that I got taught from my mentors. I saw two different versions of people. These people did this and got this result. And these people always did this and got that result. So I had to make a choice. Which one do I want? I want that life. Awesome. I got to start making more of these choices and not make those choices. It's very simple. Build the skills and you'll be able to accomplish anything. And no matter what the goal is, if you can build the skills to accomplish that, you just apply it to anything else. You can apply your sport and fitness to your business. You can apply your business to your marriage. You can apply your marriage to your parenting. You can apply your parenting to your fitness. There's some people that are amazing parents, very dedicated to their children, to their pets, to their husband, to their wife, whatever, but they don't dedicate that same to their health and to their, their, to their fitness. They suck at that part. You just got to take the same traits and prior, prioritization that you put in that part and put it into this. You just don't see it. You're using that as an excuse. So then, then you have to be honest with yourself and be like, do I really want this? I don't like doing the work of that. So it's very simple. Skills pay the bills. I hope this can bring you guys some value. If you have any questions, shoot me a DM or leave a question in the comments down there. If anybody wants to get into fitness, get in shape, start feeling better, start looking better, start acting better. I've got free program for the men and for the women. You don't have to pay anything. Just DM me or email me and I'll send that out to you. All the information's in my bio here on YouTube on how to be able to get a hold of me. And if you want any more information on the app, which I said in the last video, is live now on the in the Apple Store and on the Google Play Store. The transformation program with full customized mentorship from beginning to end, A to Z, everything is covered underneath of it. And you have full contact with me through that whole time. It's available. Shoot out any questions that you have about that and I can answer them for you. Be good to yourself. Stay true to yourself and let nothing or nobody get in the way of the life that you want to live. See you guys next time.